Следуваат снимки од 77-миот поред македонски отворен голф турнир. Најстариот етнички голф турнир во Канада. We're speaking with Margarita Donakovska, the assistant administrator for Canadian Macedonian Place. Margarita, it's a beautiful day for golf. It sure is. We're really excited and looking forward to another successful year. That's fantastic. So it's the 77th anniversary of the Macedonian Open. There was a lot of work that went in on in advance to make sure it's a, it's a very successful day. Oh yes, a lot of work goes into the golf tournament. Right after this one ends, we start planning for the next one. And it's just days, hours, nights, months. It takes us a lot of work to get everything done and for it to be successful. Do you have a message at the end of today's interview uh, for the people watching this show? I just want to say thank you for all your support in the community, the board of directors, the people that come out. Thank you so much and we hope to see you next year. And also a great uh, shout out to Zlatka Chokova, the administrator who did a lot of work as well putting this event together. Yes, she is the best. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. She has the most, she puts in the most time and effort. That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much, Margarita. You're welcome. Thank you. It's a great honor to speak with two members of our Macedonian community who have been very, very supportive of our community and are both fantastic people, Chris and Tina Andonov. Um, I understand we have a very special day today for both of you, your 47th anniversary. How do you feel? We feel great. Yeah. We're still on our honeymoon. <laughs> That's fantastic. Chris? Yeah, 47 wonderful years. That's fantastic. And Chris, you've been involved in the Macedonian community, as I said, many, many years. You used to have Chris and Tina's Bridal Boutique, a sponsor of our show for many, many years. We appreciated that. But more importantly, you were involved in the Tersi Association, involved in general in our community in many, many ways. And uh, how do you feel about this year's Macedonian Open Golf Tournament? We're just very happy to be here to help out, uh, you know, other player uh, to volunteer. And it's just to get uh, to see people that uh, you haven't seen for a while. I, I met somebody that I haven't seen in like over 20 years. So it, it, it's great. It's, it's just a great to see, event. To see a community. Great it's event. It's a great cause, you know, to uh, raise money for the uh, old age home, you know, to help our seniors. And it's, it's, just, it's a pleasure to be here. I want to congratulate you on your 47th annual uh, anniversary. Da ste živi zdravi za mnogo godini da ima ušte 47 godine. It takes a big effort to keep the program going, so good luck. It's a great honor to speak with Tina Arguero. Tina, uh, it's an amazing day today, but I want to tell you that you have been a great supporter, along with your husband Angelo of the Macedonian community, for many, many years. Vistina, mnogo godini i ošće drugasne na nozite, ošće ke pomožeme, ke komožime. I sakam da mu reča na ženite, što me se me zelnicite svičko, od Sveti Dimitrija spolajmo pre mnogo, ti je ne se tuka sega, bat vo Rusija ovoj doje. Bat mnogo ubavo je taka što je prajme s ovoj gafto, je spešli ti bil, kjeku vreme si, e ne znaš kjeku... I respect you in other words. Nogo ti blagodaram. We saw you at the luncheon along with your husband Angelo as one of the great supporters of Canadian Macedonian Place. Always been and always will be. 
tava mi e kai kai doma koda mi. Po kërfta. Po kërfta e e makedonsko e shoqe prashkere të Istanbuli. Ja no aku do idu mala, ja s'ke do idu no go mala, but si sakam pa. Od koi selo siti? Od Statica. Statica Kosursko. Ja. Pa mash mi od Oshchima. Very nice. Ja, no no go nice ja sho sho greme taka berikatsan. I hope da greme za no go godini. Excellent. Ja, me ke vidiš mnogo godini ušte tuka prisutna. Oh, ke vidim, ke ti ja roboti ne se znaje. Se znaje, mnogo godini ke vidiš. Spolajti za tova. Da da se živa i zdrava i mnogo mnogo godini. Thank you Bill and I thank you for everything you've done. You've always been with the Macedonians and you've always helped in every way you can and your program is excellent because you'll be surprised who's watching it. We're speaking with Robert Petrov, who is a long-standing member of the golf committee for the Macedonian Open Golf Tournament. And this year's event is fantastic. 77 years. Your father, Van Petrov, was one of the founders. Yes, he was, Bill. And uh, it's exactly for the reason we have today. We have so many people that are attending, uh, both Macedonian and non-Macedonian people and uh, they support this uh, tournament as they have every year. You do a lot of work along with the golf committee. Well I try to do as much as I can in terms of fundraising. Uh, I do attend the meetings with the committee and uh, try to help them out. Uh, it's difficult because I'm still working, I'm not retired yet so time is limited. Do you have a message for the Macedonian community? I do. I'd like to say enjoy the day the macedonian community and uh we have a wonderful day today uh, this is why my father wanted to become a founder of the tournament so that he could bring both the macedonian community and the other non-macedonians together to have a wonderful day fantastic thank you so much and bill i'd like to thank you as well for the many many years that you've uh, had been at our tournament. Uh, you've been here, uh, God, I can't remember the first time you were here, but you've always been respectful of the tournament, the committee, and my father as well. Thank you very much. We just spoke with Tina Arguero, now we're speaking with her husband Angelo, who has been at this Macedonian Open Golf Tournament, you just told me, 45 years. 45 years, when they started actually with Vim Petrov, and that was a long time ago, you know? and it's still going nice and beautiful, and it's going stronger than ever before, you know, so every one of us here, we enjoy it, you know? we enjoy it. Kako beše vo to vreme? Тоа време беше тоа сиромашко, е, но некои ја земаме стои двајсе играчи, кога големо нешто беше, е, но. Сега има три стотини. Сега три стотини и млади, о, бјурфул, е, но, е, но тога беше, ба тога почна, не беше толку народ тога. Excellent. Фаме тога дје цели беме работаме, е, но. Ти ке играш денес? Kigram, I'm looking forward to it, you know. Ishom Mislish, how are you going to golf today? Hey, uh, I'm competing, so so you know. I'm, I'm, I'm right Give there. Give me a guess of a score. I would say 85. Super, odlično, super, čestito. <laughs> Do you have a man? Yeah, I'm still hanging there, you know, the, with, my, with my friends, you know. I'm right you. in the middle of the pack. You and Tina look great. You're great supporters of our Macedonian community for many, many years. Thank you, and I hope this continues for a long time, forever.
Боруваме со Лена Мангова, долгогодишен активист во македонската заедница и поддржувач на Канадско македонскиот дом. Ова година ќе има скоро 300, 300 души на овој голф турнир. 300 и од скоро 300. Тука сме на голф корсо и јас ќе дојду да волонтирам тука за да му поможам со јадењето, со продавање латерија и вој ми е многу паз, многу години. Многу години што гледа што со што поможвам и и тоа. Ти заедно со својот сопруг Павле сте долгогодишни активисти во македонската заедница, во United Macedonians и во многу други организации и Павле е голем музичар. Павле беше тука лани и сега беше тука, ама сјојде. Беше лани и свиреше, јас му одржав микрофонот, тој свиреше и се веселеме. Лена, за нашите гледачи кои не знаат, од кој село си од Македонија и од кој село е Павле? Павле е од село Тарсие, горе од Ридо. Јас сум од Убото село Арменско и ние сме од Егејцки одел. И денес, како што реков, има многу луѓе од сите делови на Македонија, од Република Македонија и од другите делови. А, многу убаво кога македонците се заедно. Сите сме македонци, сите сме истата крв, истата нација, истиот јазик, истото јадејно јајме, сите сме едно. Исто. Многу убаво. И сакам да ти честитам тебе и на Павле, кој што се сте секој дневни на интернет и поддржувате се што е македонско. Да, се што е македонско, само македонско. It's a great honor to speak with George Marku, the president of Canadian Macedonian Place. George, the weather is about 30 degrees Celsius. It's not humid. 300 Macedonians together playing golf, their passion, but also supporting Canadian Macedonian Place. It's a tremendous turnout, but it's also a great support for Canadian Macedonian Place and the Macedonian community in general. Yes, well, thank you for being here, first of all, Bill. And uh, today's a great day. Uh, as you just mentioned earlier, the, the weather can't be any better. Uh, we have uh, uh, all of Ma Macedonian uh, uh, people here, uh, friends of Macedonia, and uh, what a, a great cause uh, for a Canadian Macedonian place. And not only the Canadian Macedonian place, but through our foundation, uh, we support uh, uh, other uh, various aspects of our, of our community, you know, specifically uh, the Canadian Macedonian Historical Society, the, uh, the Macedonian Language Program at, uh, at the University of Toronto, uh, the Macedonian Film Festival, just to, to name a few. But the Macedonian Media? The Macedonian Media as well, and thank you for mentioning that. So there, there's a, through uh, Canadian Macedonian Place Foundation uh, and a tournament uh, like this, this is our largest uh, annual uh, fundraiser. And um, aside from uh, what we need to do at the at the home itself uh, there, there's other aspects that uh, that we support and we I, I'd just like to personally thank uh, each and every uh, participant uh, and volunteer that uh, contributes so much to uh, to this great actually success story it's 77 years uh, long and uh, we're we're strong as ever in, in terms of uh, the tournament. Uh, we, as you mentioned, we have an excess of 270 golfers, and with dinner, there's going to be over 300 people attending the event uh, today. George, 77 years is a long time. This year's event is spectacular, um, but a lot of people put a lot of time in making sure that it's 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 turned out to be a great event. That is Zlatka Chokova, the administrator, her assistants. Margarita, of course, the golf committee, Alex Mishov, yourself, and uh, Bobby Petrov, and many, many others. Stan Thomas, of course, has done a tremendous job for many, many years. Um, really, that is the key to making sure this event is successful, the preparation in advance, which usually takes about a year, I understand. Yes, well, I, again, things can't happen without people. Uh, we have a, a, a great administrator, great uh, uh, team that work with Zlatka, the people that you'd mentioned. Uh, Stan Thomas uh, has been instrumental. We've got a new co-chair this year, Chris Popolis. Uh, I'd like to thank Chris this year as well for, uh, for helping co-chair the event. Uh, the, the planning uh, starts months in advance. Uh, we have the event today. Uh, about a week from now, we're going to have a post-mortem on, uh, on the event to look at, you know, get some feedback on you know, what was good, what went, potentially went uh, wrong or we could be better at. And uh, a few months thereafter, uh, we start planning for next year's event.
but also the sponsors. Sponsors are just uh, tremendous. Uh, um, what's what's good to see is not only repeat sponsors, and I can I can name uh, a host uh, of them. However, we we get new sponsors each and every year, uh, uh, from whole sponsors right through to uh, uh, bronze, silver, uh, gold, and platinum sponsors. So uh, I thank each and every one of them for all all their continued support. At the end of today's interview, do you have a message for the Macedonian community? Just want to say thank you. Thank you for uh, all of your support. Uh, Canadian Mastering Place is, uh, is not only a home, however, uh, I, I strongly believe we're, we're a, corner, a cornerstone for the entire uh, Mastering diaspora, uh, not only in Canada, but, but worldwide. Uh, we, we, we have attendance coming in, not only from Canada, but we have from the United States and, and, and abroad. And uh, thank you to the entire community, thank you to the sponsors, thank you to all the volunteers, and uh, we're looking forward to a tremendous event this year and for many, many years to follow. George Marku, President of Canadian Macedonian Place, we thank you so much. Thank you, Bill. It's a great honor to speak with Stan Thomas and Chris Popalis uh, from the Macedonian Open Golf Committee. Stan, we have a new co-chair of the Golf Committee, Chris, to your right. That's right. Tell us about uh, how he's contributed. Uh, let me think about that for a second. No, seriously. Chris has done an outstanding job. Uh, I was doing some traveling this year, so I needed a co-chair to help me out. And quite frankly, I need somebody that after some time maybe needs to take over the tournament. But anyway, Chris is here. He's helping us out. We have a great turnout. You know we're going to have over 270 golfers today? Like, awesome. Absolutely awesome. And it's a beautiful day. Fantastic. Chris, uh, when did you start to get involved in the Macedonian Open Golf Tournament? I was involved many years ago just as a participant and Stanley recruited me to join the board. How many years has it been now? Six? Six years. Six years, five, six years. And just recently asked me to co-chair with him, which I think was an honor, given that the tournament has been running since 1942. <laughs> and uh, I think Stanley's played in every one of those uh, no. tournaments. No, no not, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's been a real honor and the support has been tremendous. It's very difficult to get this kind of support for this many years given there's so many tournaments out there to have 270 golfers plus I think we have out this year is a testament to our hard work and our community support of the home and the foundation. It is the longest ethnic golf tournament, running ethnic golf tournament in Canada. Absolutely and we're gonna keep it going. We're all proud of the Toronto Raptors who are world champions and we're even more proud of the founder of the Toronto Raptors, John Bedoff Jr. We're definitely proud of him. I'll never forget the day that he brought the team to Toronto and I went there to congratulate him. Uh, he was so proud, we were all so proud of John and the accomplishment that he made. And it was a long road. The first games in Sky Dome were not pretty, but uh, everyone stuck around and now we've got the NBA champions. Unbelievable. One question we ask all of our participants in the Macedonian Heritage Hour, an important question. I think uh, Stan Thomas has something to say about that, about another village, a very famous village. The most famous village of all, Aramensko. <laughs> Some people have even called it the country of Armensko. <laughs> the country of Armensko. We should have it. It's honor. It's What's an the honor. To, it's <laughs> the capital is the city square. Probably the Marku Cafe. <laughs> Tell us about all the work that went into this event because I know it takes a year of preparation. You know, Bill, we start the day after or the week after this tournament uh, will end. Uh, the planning for the following year. We go through a debrief, what, what do we do right, what do we do wrong, how do we want to make it better, how do we get more juniors out, how do we get more ladies out, how do we make it, we want to reach 100 years. So we want to build a core group that can take it right to 100 years and make us all proud. So the planning starts at that point and it carries on. Of course it gets very intense the last couple of weeks and everyone pulls together, the whole committee, volunteers, absolutely amazing how everybody pulls together to make this happen. That's fantastic. Chris, the Bani Cheni, and all the Macedonians from all parts of Macedonia must be very proud of you. Um, do you have a message at the end of today's interview for our viewers? My message is just a thank you, a heartfelt thank you to all that participate and help support the cause as volunteers 
as players and our sponsors as well. I think we owe it to them and we have a, an obligation to continue this. And on that note, what we've done this year, which I think is different, and, and to, to expand on Stan's uh, point, we've introduced a new category for young adults. I believe it's 18 to 24. Yeah. We've made it more affordable and I have my nephews and nieces have come out to participate and that's our future. We need to try and get them involved so that we can retire, live in the home and have them take <laughs> over for us. Great message. Stan? That's it. Thanks very much. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Bill. Thank, thank you. We're speaking with a member of the board of Canadian Macedonian Place, Alex Mishov, who recently was in our interview for a very nice interview, along with President George Marku. Alex, the theme today is close to 300 golfers, 30 degrees Celsius weather, and a lot of happy Macedonians working together to have a tremendous Macedonian Open golf tournament. Exactly, Bill. As we said the other day when we met with you, it's about getting together, all the Makedonsi getting together, doesn't matter what cello you're from, what city you're from in Macedonia, we're all getting together, the camaraderie, enjoying the Macedonian heritage that we're so proud of, and another gorgeous day, and we're shocked at how well this tournament continues to do, because it's difficult to get golfers out, there are so many golf tournaments, it's difficult to get golfers out, and yet we're surpassing last year's numbers this year. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And as we've mentioned with some of the other supporters and volunteers and, and uh, people involved with the tournament, it's the months and months of planning that really have made this event so successful. That's what it is. And I said to you before when we met, uh, I'm so proud to be associated with the team. Uh, my cousin Stan Thomas, he's the glue that holds this whole thing together but we have great members George Marku, Chris Popolis, too many to mention and we are tireless in working to try and make this happen. Very great. At the end of today's interview do you have a message? I just want to thank everybody for coming out. I, you know, uh, Apparently they're listening to the message from my previous interview of please come on out whether you're golfers or non-golfers come and say hello, hugs and kisses to your fellow Macedonians and let's keep this going for years to come. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a great honor to speak with the founder of the Toronto Raptors, and we're all very proud of you, John Bedoff Jr. John, on behalf of all Canadian Macedonians and all of our friends, we want to congratulate you on the success of the Toronto Raptors. Well, thank you. There was a lot of people involved. My family, Stan Thomas, when it was a Sharpers Drug Mart, came through. There's so many people that were part of this. Your mom and dad, your dad must be in heaven very proud of this, of this day, of this event, actually. And uh, your mom as well. Yeah, well, my mom, I call her the, the, the Baba of basketball in Canada. If she wasn't around, I don't know if our family would have had the bug. But, uh, and then during the playoffs, we hung a We the North flag on my dad's, uh, on the, where the cemetery is. And everyone who goes through Mount Pleasant sees the flag. So he was part of it the whole way. That's fantastic. Uh, we saw you on television giving an interview to the, the people the day of the parade. And what was that feeling like, you know, considering the fact that you were the founder of the team? One of the greatest moments that anyone could have in their life. I mean, it was just the way the whole country came together for the playoffs. Half the country watched the, you know, the finals. Seeing the city, two million people come out for that parade. It was just, it was, it was an awesome feeling. It was the best. Jordan, you must be very proud as well. Very, very proud. Uh, John, I was thinking as, as we were talking about this, Bo McCallum in Macedonia when we were there in 2011 when Macedonia went in the Euro Cup all the way. It was a pretty proud moment for Macedonia, but absolutely, our entire family thrilled to have been a part of it. Thank you so much. Stan was there day one. I'm getting to Stan. <laughs> Stan, you were there from day one as well with Shoppers Drug Mart. 
From, from day one, congratulated John. He needed some help with tickets, so we bought a couple of thousand at Sky Dome. And good seats, too. Yeah, good seats <laughs> up in the bleachers, and they were good. But it brought the crowds out, and you know what? Basketball started slow, 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 and then it just absolutely fabulously picked up. It's an amazing sport, great for the kids, great for the country, and we're so proud of John and Thank his you, whole man. family uh, for making it happen. John, people are a little disappointed that Kawhi Leonard left, but uh, hopefully the team's going to do well this year. I think they got a great team, and you know what? It's his loss. Uh, any of them who've left, Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, Damon, they always regretted it. They didn't realize till they got older how great they had it here in Toronto, and <laughs> the same thing will happen to him. On behalf of all Macedonians everywhere, we want to congratulate you on this amazing accomplishment. Thank you, now Stan and I can get golfing and Jordan can eat his sujik. Oh Perfect. There we go. Thank you. Thanks so much, Bill. Thanks, Take Bill. Care. So Bye -bye. much. Take care. Bye-bye.